Now that it's November, remember when you click on your furnace for the first time, experts want to remind you to have it regularly checked, not only for your family's safety, but to keep it running better and longer. We are joined by an expert now. Pat Marsh is here in studio. Thank you for being here. Thank you. And tell us about the, some of the things people should be thinking about with their furnace as we're in the fall season now. Well, they want to have a professional check it because uh, one of the main things is safety. You want to make sure there's no cracks in the heat exchanger. And if there's a crack in the heat exchanger, it can leak exhaust or flue gas into the ductwork, and that can be a potential hazard. And that could include carbon monoxide poisoning, yes. things like that. Yes. How often, um, and here are a look at, at some of the uh, furnaces uh, that you guys work on, how often should you get your furnace checked or inspected? I recommend every fall to have your furnace checked. Just like you would change your oil regularly in your car, you should have your furnace maintained every fall. Okay. There are also the air filters which you can switch out. Should you, uh, how often should you switch those and do you need to do so more often in the winter? Well, the furnace runs a lot in the winter, so we recommend every month have the filter changed uh, so it doesn't build up a lot of debris and, and block the airflow. Okay. Um, and you can also uh, program your thermostat. What are, I think that's one of the tougher things people don't always think about or know exactly what temperature to schedule at which time of day. How can you help people there? That's a personal choice. If you leave the house for like eight hours, let's say, to go to work, you can turn your furnace way down and the furnace can make up that heat before you get home. Uh, the programmable thermosets know how to do that. What are some of the other ways people can uh, save money uh, as they're having to kick the furnace back on this time of year? Wear sweaters and keep it as low as possible. Um, also, uh, to make sure they have it maintained, keep it clean and mm -hmm. running efficiently, and change the filter. Okay. What's, uh, what temperature do you keep yours at at your house? I keep mine at 68. 68, okay. Yes. My wife would never let me keep it that cool, but maybe I could compromise at like 70 or so, but good to know. Well, Pat, thank you very much. We appreciate uh, the ideas here, and let's find out if you're going to need the furnace this weekend. 